Welcome back into the show, everybody. Next Gene Girls provides opportunities for high school girls to engage in scientific research, lab work, and presentations. But it's also doing so much more to ser serve young girls in the community. Joining us now is founder Marlena Jackson. Marlena, thank you so much for joining us on well, Live in the Bay. Thank you, Olivia, for having me. Yes, it's so incredible what Next Gene, what Next Gene is doing for young girls in the community. But specifically, what is the overall message and goal? when it comes to this organization. Yeah, so Next Gen Girls is really about empowering the next generation. So we know that the Bay Area is a STEM hub of innovation and diversity, equity, and inclusion plays a big part. And it's not only good for the business, right? But it's also good for the communities of students that are growing up here. And really our overall goal is to really make sure that students from historically excluded uh, spaces have the opportunity to not only engage in STEM, but mm -hmm. also really see themselves as STEM scholars. Mm -hmm. And for our viewers who may not know what STEM stands for. Can you break it down for us? Yeah, so what Next Gen Girls likes to say, it's about science, technology, engineering, and math, but we've actually added the extra M, which is medicine. Mm -hmm. What we see is that many of our female scholars really want to go into medicine, and so we really want to add that extra M, really to make sure that these spaces really um, are providing the opportunity for our female high school students to be able to excel and be successful. Mm -hmm. That's and that's so important that we give, especially young women in this upcoming generation, the opportunities to succeed. Now, when it comes to, um, you said you guys added the extra M, that medicine. At what point did you realize that that needed to be in addition to the program? Because what we realized is that it wasn't just that our students were going, wanting to go off to graduate school and get PhDs. Many of them are saying that they really want to have a career in medicine. And so we're really at the impetus where we're starting to see the impact of our scholars not only uh, excelling at their undergrad and majoring in STEM-related degrees, but they're really taking the next steps to really be able to position themselves to be able to go to some of our medical schools and so it's important that our community and our institutions are reflective of the students and, and the communities that are that are here mm -hmm. yeah and these programs oftentimes are not just specifically centered towards young women even young women of color so why was that important for you when building this program to keep that in mind uh, great question Olivia so um, I am a fourth generation Bayview Hunters Point native, which is in the southeast side of San Francisco. And so when I looked around my own community, I realized there really lacked some of the opportunities um, really for our students to be set up for success. So as a black woman, a black female, I realized that there was an opportunity where I could do something to give back to my own community. And so Next Gen Girls was born, it was really about my own daughter, really uh, understanding that, you know, a scientist can look like her mom, a scientist looks like another person of color, is not the guy with the crazy white hair, and then in the mm -hmm. lab coat, a scientist really is someone that can look like them. And I think representation uh, is super important. So in starting Next Gen Girls, really wanting to show the girls that, uh, that a scientist could look like them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all about a, uh, setting up the opportunity for them to have really um, uh, positive identities in the science space. It's also making sure that they have self-agency, right? Mm -hmm. And have awareness that this is their community wealth is super important to them really uh, giving back as well. And so what the girls have learned to do very successfully is that they can they create a community of sisterhood Mm -hmm. And in that sisterhood, it's about them lifting every single person up that's a part of the program. And then from there, we see them go on to do some really amazing things, right? We have scholars that are currently at USC, the University of Michigan. Um, they're wow. actually spread across. The students are from the Bay Area, but we're seeing them go off to four-year colleges and majoring in science. And that is super important because what we want them to do is come back to the community, right, and give back. We want our, our scientists to be reflective uh -huh. of the students that we are serving. We want the businesses to also reflect that same thing. 
Well, how rewarding has this program that you've built been for you? And to see some of these young women grow up and go off to these four-year colleges and become, you know, doctors, scientists, how rewarding is this for you? Um, I think it's perhaps one of my, my proudest moments because sometimes you have to do things afraid, right? Mm -hmm. You do it with intention and you do it because you know that this is important. Um, I think about when we talk about underrepresentation, we talk about exclusionary spaces. I think I saw that this was a real important niche um, to make sure that girls really saw themselves in the space and creating the opportunity for them to really be able to go into science labs at some of tier run institutions such as UCSF, the Gladstone Institute. And we have seen that these community partners have really played an important part in these mm -hmm. girls' lives where students as high schoolers are actually getting uh, publication, scientific publications. And that's what sometimes all we realize is that the students Students need the opportunity and the access, and once opportunity access happens, I think the sky is the limit and there are no boundaries that are placed um, uh, with, against them. I, I totally agree. And where can people find out if they want to learn more and get their children involved? Yeah, so if students or, or parents in particular really want to learn more about the program, you can check out our website at nextgengirls.org. Uh, you can find out more information. Um, the students, we'll be launching our next summer cohort uh, actually as early as December where we'll be taking uh, applications and we really want to make sure that our, our young high school female scholars are a part of this experience because we want them to be the next generation of science leaders, uh, not only for the Bay Area, but for the entire nation. Well, Marlena, you're doing some wonderful things here in the Bay Area. Congratulations thank on the you. program and thank you for coming on Live in the Bay. Yeah, thank you for having me, Olivia. We appreciate yeah. learning more about it. Now, to learn more or to find out how your children could take part, we'll have a link on our website.